Hi, my name is Adam Hill. I'm a chemistry professor at St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York. And this is the story of my Rolex Milgauss 116400 GV. The Milgauss has a reputation as a little bit of a weird watch in the collecting community. People are often asking, who is this watch even for? Well, it's for people like me. I'm a physical chemist who studies artificial photosynthesis, a renewable energy technology that involves transforming carbon dioxide and water from the atmosphere into liquid fuels using systems like this one from my own research. Now, this is a lot of sciencey shenanigans right here, but the important thing that I want you to look at are these unpaired electrons symbolized as arrows. The same unpaired electrons that are so critical to making my artificial photosynthesis devices work are also the origin of magnetism. And it's magnetism that the Milgauss is all about defeating. In my research, I work in the lab and work around instruments like our nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer that produce incredibly strong magnetic fields. When I walk up to that instrument, I take my wallet out of my pocket, I leave my cell phone in another room, it will seriously scramble any electronics that it's near, and it will render the movement of most watches magnetic. The shielded movement of my Milgauss, on the other hand, means that I'm the only chemistry professor in the department who can walk up to the instrument without magnetizing my watch. On top of that, the smooth, polished surfaces of the Milgauss let me actually wash it off if it, let, if it gets dirty in lab, and I can be confident that it's going to be clean. So the story of where I got this watch is pretty special to me, in part because of this research that I'm talking about right here. A couple of years ago, I published this work and I received tenure at St. Lawrence and for the first time in literally years, I went on a real vacation. My wife and I went to Paris. And just for fun, while we were out exploring the city, we walked into a Rolex AD there. And in an entire AD full of Rolexes, there was one steel professional model there, this Milgauss. And I said to myself, well, I just got tenure from publishing a paper all about controlling electron spin and a watch designed to specifically allow one to work around those instruments. Well, that seems just too perfect. So we bought the watch on the spot, brought it back. And my wife, of course, makes fun of me because I'm apparently the only person that the customs officers had ever met as we came back into the country who actually declared my watch. So that's the story of my Rolex Milgauss 116400GV.